Hello everyone and welcome to the second episode of our webinar series. So before we proceed, let me give you a little quick overview of today's sessions. So as you know, we are going to talk about mobile device management in the logistic and transportation sector together with our business partner, which is Skillfusion in order to provide you a further exposure on all you need to know about MDM within your industry. But before that, let me tell you a little bit about Sindas. So Sindas is one of the local companies in Malaysia who provides you a mobile device management. And we are also experts in all aspects of device management, including securing devices, mobility devices, and increasing productivity within organizations and enterprises. We transform the way you work, we unlock your productivity and enable workplace mobility through comprehensive security strategies. And if you're keen to know more about Sindes, you may check us out through our website, as you can see on the screen, www.sindes.biz. So yeah, my name is Hani, and I'll be hosting in this today's webinar. So as for today's topic, we'll be covering the second episodes of the webinar series, which is entitled Driving Efficiency with Greater Productivity, Mobile Device Management in Logistic and Transportation Sector. And this time, we'll be diving in more about mobile device management that we'll be focusing on this sector. Let me share you a little bit about the webinar flow in sequence first. So in today's webinar, our partner Skillfusion will expose you on the current industry landscape, challenges faced by the logistic and transportation sector, specific features of Skillfusion, which will help you in overcoming challenges of the transportation industry, not only that, they will also share your live demo of key features on Skillfusion dashboard, as well as the snippet of a successful case with the real life examples of logistic and transportation firms using Skillfusion. And after that, as Israel will be proceeding with the FAQ sessions with the host and the guest speaker, followed by the Q&A session openly for audiences. Well, before I start to introduce you to our guest speaker for today, if you have any questions, you can leave your questions in the chat box down below. And we will also have an exclusive program to be given away to you guys today. If you want to know, know if you want to know more about what it is, please stay until the end of this sessions. Okay, let's not waste time. Let me introduce you to our guest speaker for today, Mr. Sharas, one of our MDM experts for skill fusion, which be which will be sharing more on all that matter regarding mobile device measurements within your logistic industry and how MDM can actually help you to streamline and enhance your productivity in your business. I think um, we can start a sharing session now. So I will pass this to our guest speaker, Mr. Shara. Yes, thanks a lot for the introduction, Hani, and uh, very welcome to all the webinar attendees. Uh, to give an introduction, my name is Sharath HP and I'm, I handle the product sales and channel partnership for Scale Fusion for the APAC region. Uh, Sindus is our valued partner from Malaysia and we have been partnered with Sindus for quite some time. Like Hani has given an introduction about Sindus, uh, Sindus is one of our active partners and uh, we are looking to provide or, or basically cater to the challenges that are faced across various industries uh, uh, in Malaysia and the APAC region and the world altogether. Uh, this is the second part of the webinar, like Hani has mentioned, the uh, second uh, uh, webinar that we are, uh, that we are kind of uh, uh, conducting out of the four. The first one being uh, the, uh, uh, pro, uh, the first one being how exactly can mobile device management or scale fusion uh, is uh, can be effectively used in the manufacturing industry? The focus for today's topic is to uh, drive efficiency uh, and greater productivity within the uh, within the logistic transportation and the fleet management industry altogether. Uh, let me quickly start sharing my screen. So yes, I hope my screen is uh, visible, and uh, like I mentioned. Uh, today's topic is uh, to discuss more on how exactly is logistic industry and the transportation industry is faring currently in this current time and uh, how exactly can mobility or uh, MDM can solve various problems and where scale fusion comes into the picture. The agenda has been set forth by Hani from Sindas team. Uh, let me quick, quickly reiterate the agenda once again. Uh, how exactly is the enterprise mobility evolving in the current uh, uh, environment or the current world post pandemic? 
uh, logistic industry, what are the challenges? We'll discuss more on that. How exactly can scale fusion MDM as a solution help in uh, actively mitigating the uh, uh, the problems that are or uh, the challenges that are faced in the logistics sector? And a quick snippet or a live demonstration uh, to show what the major features that are relevant to the logistic industry in action. Alongside, at any point of time, we have a chat box down below. Please feel free to ask any questions. We will have a round of question and answer at a later stage. So before we start off with the things, I just wanted to give an enterprise, like how exactly, what exactly is the leading trend in terms of mobile uh, management or mobile device management or enterprise mobility. Uh, there has been a significant change over the past couple of years, wherein uh, everything is revolving around mobile devices. Mobile devices are actively used uh, by various enterprises, various industries in order to uh, fulfill their mobility needs. That is where mobile device management solution comes into the picture to manage any number of devices or any fleet of devices, be it big, small, a few devices, hundreds or thousands of devices altogether. Now, we wanted to quickly have a poll before we start off with this webinar. Are you using any MDM solution at your organization currently? Please let us know if you are using but are also evaluating other solution. If not, uh, if you're not using anything and looking for a solution, either of these situation, uh, this webinar will be helpful for you for sure. We have 30 seconds left for this poll. Uh, we are getting quite a few responses. Many of them are not using anything, but are looking for a solution. So that's good to know. Quite a few of you guys have, uh, you are evaluating, uh, are using, but are also looking, uh, are using MDM, but are also looking to evaluate other solutions. So that's good to know. Uh, we have 15 seconds left. Uh, request all the attendees to fill in the poll so that we can go forward accordingly. Uh, we have five seconds more, four, three, two, one, that's it. The poll has ended and we have all the entries. Uh, based on the poll, uh, it looks like uh, many of them are currently not using any M MDM solutions, uh, uh, but are looking for a solution to make sure that their enterprise mobility needs are taken care of. I hope this particular webinar helps you in answering many questions. So before, let's move forward. How exactly is the current industry landscape for logistic industry? So. Logistics and transportation industry uh, are looking, are moving forward to the technology side, wherein they are looking to replace all the paper-based correspondence through uh, through technology, be it the use of hardware such as uh, uh, smartphones or tablets or MPOS or point of sale systems, RFID and maker uh, and vehicle mounted LED or electronic logging devices. So handheld computers to RFDs to ELDs, smartphones and tablets, uh, are being used currently and tracking these assets has, uh, is required currently. How exactly is this possible? It is through mobile device management wherein an MDM admin can basically track these devices or track these endpoints to ensure all the necessary stakeholders, that is the manufacturing, supply chain, logistics, the operations, everything is well, very well interconnected. Through a mobile device management solution, we can uh, we can streamline the uh, the necessary aspects to ensure productivity is maintained and uh, and all the necessary things to ensure the device misuse is mitigated is taken care of. Logistic industry uh, is looking to is growing exponentially by the end of next year around 15.5 trillion USD. That's the that, that's the uh, that's the kind of uh, market that we are looking at, and we are currently in the fourth industrial revolution wherein information and communication technology is influencing the logistics and the transportation industry. Uh, owing to the remote and the on-field nature, uh, wherein the devices are moving at all times, it is vital for all the logistics and transportation companies to make sure that the efficiency is maintained, effective communication is being maintained with their on-field employees through, through various, uh, uh, through various uh, mediums. So that is where an MDM always comes into picture. Right now, uh, in the logistic industry, uh, what exactly are the lingering challenges? Uh, MDM, of course, it, it helps uh, to mitigate most of the challenges, but let's focus on what are the lingering challenges. So provisioning industry grade devices. So deploying the devices to, uh, deploying the devices uh, uh, is one of the major challenges and to make sure that all these devices are uh, secure enough and the management is seamless. That is one of the major challenges. 
equipping the devices or the tablets or the smartphone or any endpoint with specific applications uh, and websites and tailor made to make sure that the productivity is not hampered and it is not tampered with. That is the next challenge. Since logistics and the transportation industry is always remote and always on the move, there are times when troubleshooting is required, uh, is required and it is hasty to believe that the devices, whenever they are faulty, it, we need to bring back to a certain location for it to be fixed. So remotely troubleshooting the devices, analyzing the, uh, analyzing the errors and taking the preventive action, that is also a challenge. Ensuring there is a network security, that is to prevent data breaches, to ensure there is a connection between uh, the necessary, uh, necessary tools on the software is mitigated or is being, uh, or is being uh, made sure it is taken care of with MDM on the forefront. That is also a major challenge. One of the major challenges is asset tracking in real time. That is monitoring a real time location, uh, uh, monitoring the real time location of the employees of the, and the employees using those devices through, through on the field. Uh, the devices may be spread across the country, across the continent, across the globe. It is paramount that an MDM admin is able to track the device at any point of time. And last but not the least, to ensure the corp corporate policy uh, or compliant with the corporate policy. The corporate policy for different companies vary to ensure that all these corporate policy and compliance are taken care of and necessary routine checks and automation is also taken care of. This is very much required and these are the lingering challenges that are being seen. Now, Scale Fusion can make sure to uh, mitigate all these lingering challenges. However, to give an introduction about Scale Fusion, so Scale Fusion is a mobile device management solution, MDM, EMM, UEM, you name it, whatever you want. We are an endpoint management solution provider and we help organizations of any size to, uh, to secure and manage their smartphones, their tablets, laptops, rugged devices, be it anything. We, we ensure that we support all kinds of devices, be Android, iOS, Mac OS, and Windows devices. Uh, the, there are various deployment methods or various modes in which the uh, tablets or the endpoints can be uh, deployed onto the field, be it company-owned devices, uh, let it be in kiosk mode or agent mode or bring by, uh, BYOD, bring your own device scenario. There are various scenarios. The best way to make sure that we help you out in, uh, we help you out uh, in mitigating your mobility needs is to sign, is to reach out to our uh, partner Sindes to know more and how exactly can they be able to help you out in managing your endpoints effectively. Now, what are the salient features that of Scale Fusion that are helping in uh, mitigating the lingering challenges that are seen in uh, uh, in logistics and transportation industries will be showcased now. There are good nine to 11 features that I would like to focus, which are generally seen in the logistics industry. However, it is not, it is not the same for every uh, customer within this industry and it varies from, from use case to use case. However, let me focus more on the lingering challenges or the challenges that are seen in this particular industry. The first one being easy, ease of remote provisioning. Uh, Provisioning the devices or enrolling the devices right at the time of an unboxing is very much required. Scale Fusion supports all different kinds of deployment method. The ones which help in the ease of remote provisioning is the zero touch enrollment, ZTE, or uh, which is applicable to all Android devices. Uh, when it comes to Samsung devices, Knox mobile enrollment, KME. While we unbox the device right then and there, we can ensure the Scale Fusion is uh, Scale Fusion uh, is uh, is already on the device with the necessary co policies, configuration, apps, and all the necessary compliance. Everything is all in place. With reference to iOS, we have DEP, Device Enrollment Program. With reference to Windows, we have uh, Windows Autopilot, and we can automate any kind of devices uh, before provisioning it to the uh, employees or the device users. The next part is device monitoring and asset tracking. Asset tracking software as a solution can be easily uh, can can easily be uh, ignored and we can use scale fusion MDM for asset tracking purposes. So we have various wildcards and custom fields through which we can assign uh, necessary asset ID or relevant tags to ensure we, we keep a streamlined asset management uh, in place within scale fusion MDM. 
to uh, i will showcase this in a live demo in the, in in the few few minutes time so keep so i will request everyone to keep uh, the, keep themselves posted on that the next is remote troubleshooting uh, scale fusion provides a feature called as remote cast and control through which the mdm admin can take a remote of the device and can also take a control of the device uh, in real time from the scale fusion dashboard in this way we uh, the mdm admin or the company can actually save a lot of time in terms of uh, uh, the transportation of the device from point a to point b and the necessary remote troubleshooting can be carried out accordingly and it is seamless to scale fusion uh, dashboard securing the corporate data uh, we can remotely lock the device locate the device if the device is compromised we can wipe the data uh, of sensitive uh, of sensitive information we can factory reset the data to ensure that the device is not misused furthermore let's just say if there is some un unauthorized factory reset uh, uh, which has been done by the device users we can enforce frp factory reset protection to ensure misuse of stolen or uh, lost devices uh, is mitigated as well uh, there are various automation tools that is uh, automation in the sense various reports and various uh, workflows or it or automation wherein uh, we can ensure that uh, uh, various device parameters uh, and various device uh, uh, issues or various device information can be generated at any point of time and it can also be automated accordingly and compliance er uh, alerts security alerts and all of those things can also be set uh, set easily at any point of time centralized management uh, like i mentioned scale fusion supports any kind of device which is running on android uh, android 4.3 and above ios 9 and above um, a mac 10 uh, 10.11 and above and uh, windows 10 and 11 devices so we support our array of devices and through scale fusion you can manage any type of devices uh, and uh, ensure that there is a streamlined management of the devices right from a single console app and content filtering restricting the devices with selective apps and web pages to ensure that the to ensure that the employees are not distracted and they only use the devices devices for or the endpoints for their uh, for their work purposes only we can ensure that can be uh, that can be provisioned onto the devices or we can strictly enforce that on the devices the device users will not be able to uninstall any of the apps this is to ensure that the device is used for work purposes only the other main features which many of the mdms in the current market do not have is a team communication there is a team communication suite that is inbuilt within scale fusion dashboard to ensure that uh, to ensure there is a seamless communication between the mdm admin and device users we can also ensure device users can also interact between each other so this is like a replacement for whatsapp or viber or skype or slack kind of a solution so we can create multiple groups we can we can uh, uh, we can have a chat one on one necessary videos necessary uh, messages audios voice notes and everything can be shared and through this team communication the remote troubleshooting is also taken care of uh, this is to ensure that the device uh, this is to ensure that the on field uh, users are are uh, are always engaged and they keep they are kept posted on the necessary things and we can also broadcast uh, messages uh, uh, in bulk or we can also broadcast a one way message all of this is possible through uh, our team communication suite alongside we can we also provide call management capabilities that to restrict incoming and outgoing calls this is to ensure that uh, the uh, the device is not misused in case sim cards are provided on to the uh, to the device users the other feature being we can also enforce uh, custom branding that is we can configure wallpapers app logos and many other things on the corporate devices the users will not be able to change any of the wallpapers or the screen savers or the logos that are there on the devices this is, and this actually kind of gives uh, a a professional look to the devices that are being man that are being used by the employees we can also restrict various hardware keys software keys uh, to ensure the performance of the devices is uh, is to the optimum level we can we can set up screen brightness uh, right from the scale fusion dashboard or give the access to the users on the device we can control the volume we can control the uh, the power button the back key the app switch key various other soft keys and the hard keys 
can be managed. Wi-Fi management, mobile data management, everything can be done. Last but not the least, this is one of the scale fusion differentiators that many of the MDMs do not provide. We also have speed-based app locking. What exactly does this mean? Uh, let's just say if the devices are, are, are being used in a particular kind of uh, a vehicle or a truck or any kind of a, any kind of a, uh, any kind of a vehicle which is always um, on the move, we can ensure that a specific speed threshold is maintained, uh, is kept. For example, if we keep it at 60 kilometers per hour and if the speed breaches that, we can ensure all the application or certain application are blocked uh, along with a message popping up on the device mentioning uh, mentioning a custom message. For example, you are going above the speed limit, Keep, please come back to less than 60 kilometers per hour, uh, that kind of a speed. This is to ensure that the drivers are hitting the road without any distraction and the devices uh, that are being used are not cause for distractions or not a cause for any other kind of uh, uh, hazard on the field. These are the key differentiators of Scale Fusion MDM. Uh, I will showcase more of these features in the li in the live demo in quite in in the next 10 to 15 minutes. Scale Fusion has various OEM partners. We have partnered with uh, about about 35 OEM. Uh, some of them being Samsung, Lenovo, and various other kind of rugged devices that are there across the globe. What exactly this showcases is, in case if any logistics, transportation, and fleet management company is looking to deploy any kind of device, we are we do support all these devices which are uh, which are there in the market. This is to ensure that the uh, MDM admin or the company can make use of any kind of de uh, devices depending upon their uh, budget, depending upon the scalability and various other factors. So in a nutshell, what is scale fusion capabilities? Like I mentioned, scale fusion uh, is, uh, uh, support, it supports Android, iOS, macOS, and Windows 10 and 11 devices. With, ref with reference to Android, Android is the Android devices are the most that uh, are the devices that are used the most in the logistics and the transportation industry. Next comes iOS devices and few MPOS and few tablets do run on Windows, but the main uh, the but the main devices that are used uh, is Android. Uh, we are Android enterprise ready, and we can even make sure that custom Android devices are also supported through Scale Fusion. Now. Let's just say if iOS devices are also being provisioned, Windows devices are also being provisioned, Scale Fusion can ensure that the necessary kind of uh, assistance is being provided and the devices can be managed accordingly. To give more about the customer stories, next step is the customer story. So Scale Fusion uh, has uh, about 8,000 plus customers across the globe, uh, uh, spread across 120 plus countries. But let me focus more on the logistics and the transportation customer stories at the moment. We'll focus on a couple of customer stories. The first one being Delivery Hero. Uh, Delivery Hero is, has been using Scale Fusion uh, for the past uh, five, four to five years or so, managing close to 65,000 devices. So uh, Delivery Hero is an international food delivery giant, and they have presence in 50 plus countries, and they wanted to give the delivery, uh, and they wanted to give MPOS system and uh, smartphones and tablets to the delivery staff and to make sure that the, these endpoints are uh, managed or being used by the users properly. So what exactly were the problems? Tracking of location was required. Ensuring the device maintenance is remotely is also taken care of. Curbing excess data costs, SIM cards and other uh, uh, SIM cards with a certain threshold for data was provided to ensure that the data cost is also taken care of. Last but not the least, securing the device against theft or loss. These were the main problems of Delivery Hero. How exactly was the solution provided by uh, Scale Fusion? Uh, Scale Fusion, uh, like I mentioned, uh, provides uh, uh, management on various type of devices. So be it the tablets or the smartphones or MPOS devices, which are running on Android or Windows, management was provided. Location tracking, 24, we could force GPS on and location tracking on the device uh, and by not giving that access to the users and 24 seven GPS uh, based location tracking was possible. Next, troubleshooting the uh, troubleshooting was possible because of a remote cast and control uh, uh, 
uh, feature where you could take a remote of the devices with our uh, interops, that is the integration with various ticketing tools. We ensured that the device maintenance is streamlined and can be taken care of by the MDM admin diligently. We have a workflow compliance or a compliance with uh, wherein we can, we can uh, sort of give alert onto the devices that they have breached 40% or 50% of the data for the day or the, for the month. So uh, to make sure that this is taken care of, we can, we can use our uh, data compliance workflow. Alongside, we could restrict the devices to certain uh, work website and work application only. With both, the, with both these features, we were able to uh, uh, help Delivery Hero in maintaining their data costs. Last but not the least, scale uh, the on the devices that are enrolled with scale fusion remote it could be remotely locked we could factory reset the device and in case the device is stolen we could enforce factory reset protection uh, to ensure that the device is not misused so this is the customer story for the delivery hero moving on to the uh, to the next and the last customer story is grab grab is a household name it's a ride hailing app in the apac industry they are headquartered in Singapore and they have a presence in uh, Philippines and uh, Malaysia, Singapore and few other countries, not just in APAC, but in other uh, countries across the globe as well. Uh, they provide food delivery and they are also payment solution providers and they wanted to uh, uh, provide MPOS system and uh, their drivers with uh, tablets and smartphones. So the problems that they were facing was to managing and securing their MPOS devices and their Android devices, troubleshooting the unattended devices or the devices that are MPOS devices are generally unattended. How exactly to troubleshoot it, let's just say if it is there in some other location where the MDM admin is not there. Uh, to mitigate the troubleshooting, physical ne visits were needed to be, uh, were needed to, be uh, uh, to cut short. So remote management was required. Uh, extending over the air support. So let's just say if any kind of uh, over the air update in terms of the content or in terms of apps or in terms of any kind of uh, patch update, those things were needed to be managed. Uh, data costs to data costs to be mitigated uh, to be where to be mitigated. That was one of the problems and tracking the location at all times. So these were the main problems that were seen with Grab and the solution that were provided was an outright MPOS management, a remote troubleshooting with remote cast and control to make sure that uh, unattended devices are can be taken, uh, can be uh, remotely uh, uh, checked upon. Also physical needs or physical visits can also be mitigated. Uh, uninterrupted communication through, uh, through our communication tool was possible. Uh, access to only pre-approved website and uh, application would help in uh, uh, limiting the excess data cost and location tracking the location at all times and the MPOS systems uh, mounted onto a particular location should not move out of this location. So geofencing as a solution was also required. So all these solutions were provided to Grab and Grab had where have been have been using these uh, uh, using these features uh, along with many others effectively through Scale Fusion dashboard. Now. Let me focus on a few features that I just showcased through a live demonstration. Let me quickly start sharing my, um, uh, let me quickly start sharing my uh, scale fusion dashboard. Just give me a moment. So yeah, this is a quick, uh, quick, uh, I'll just focus on the few features uh, that we just discussed relevant to logistic and the transportation industry. This is a scale fusion dashboard. Scale Fusion uh, is known for the ease of use and all the features of Scale Fusion are there on the left hand side, like you notice. And the first section is getting uh, is the getting started. Now, as I mentioned, we, pro we provide support to various type of devices and device OS. So the first thing, the, for the first major feature or the first major thing is device uh, enrollment or device provisioning the device, devices remotely. Like I mentioned, Scale Fusion supports Android Zero Touch and Samsung KME. What exactly this means is that right from opening the device, uh, right from unboxing the device, we can ensure that the devices are signed in with Scale Fusion and just the user just, or the MDM or the user can just follow the on-screen instruction to ensure that the device gets enrolled with Scale Fusion with the necessary apps 
and necessary policies and necessary restrictions that uh, necessary restrictions are all there so in this way we can remotely provision or remotely uh, enroll the device with scale fusion there are various other me methods as well through which we can provision uh, or enroll the devices with scale fusion next comes the device and asset tracking we have a deep dive section which gives a general inventory or the snapshot of the devices let's just say if there are multiple devices that are being used we can get an inventory or the snapshot of the devices what are the device types and what are the various make and model what are the android version when it comes to android devices if ios devices are there what is the ios version and all those aspects are there this is a pictorial representation of scale fusion deep dive and this is to ensure that the device uh, centralized management and the asset tracking is taken care of next comes the devices section once the device is enrolled with scale fusion the, it, it it is shown in the devices section the devices section uh, uh, showcases uh, the devices once enrolled with scale fusion are seen over here uh, my internet is a little slow so that's why it's taking some time to load so just i have enrolled uh, three devices currently with uh, a uh, scale fusion just give me a moment yes so my scale fusion dashboard is currently loading yes uh, moving on yeah uh, let me showcase the devices section um, I have a little bit of a internet connectivity issue. I hope my audio, my voice is visible. Uh, my vo voice is audible. Just give me a moment. I have a little bit of a technical issue over here. Just give me a moment. Just hold on for a few seconds, please. I'm just changing my internet uh, uh, connectivity and I'm making sure that uh, my other devices that are connected to my Wi-Fi is currently uh, taken away or currently switched off. Just give me a moment. Yes, I am back. Let me quickly start sharing my screen again. I hope my screen is visible and starting from starting from the devices section. Yes. So this is the device management and inventory section wherein we can see the devices that are enrolled with scale fusion over here. There are two views, list view and the grid view. We can, uh, we can assign wildcards like asset ID or any kind of a, a name over here. And the general information is available. We can also get to know what is a Wi-Fi it is connected to and all the necessary information is available. The, a report of this device uh, of these devices can be generated at any point of time and this is the devices section through which you can check out all the devices that are currently enrolled with skill fusion the next is in terms of the centralized management or the asset tracking asset management which is, is the location tracking uh, is a location tracking we have a lo location setting wherein we can force the gps to be always on we can enable location all the time enable or disable the location tracking we can choose the location mode and we can ensure that the, uh, the, the, the tracking of the device can be done every one or two minutes. Alongside we have the section wherein we can, uh, we, we have a map wherein we can check out where the devices are currently are. If we check the show more details, whether the device is moving or not moving every three minutes or every two minutes or every one minute, as long as the device is connected, we can connect it to the internet. We can ensure that the, the, that the location can be tracked from point A to point B to point C to point D. And a report can also be generated at all points of time. Same thing on the left side, we have a remote cast and control wherein we can take a remote of the device and we can also control the device. Let me quickly start a session over here to showcase how exactly it is done. I have currently a device by the name Sharath enrolled. I can quickly take a control of the device. And this is an example of a device that is enrolled in kiosk mode with scale fusion. I can take a remote of the device. I can even control the device. 
for example i have a, i have file doc over here i am not doing anything on the device i am basically taking a control i can take a recording of the let's just say if there is any problem on the device i can take a recording i can take a screenshot i can even access the internal storage moving on uh, in terms of the uh, in moving on in terms of the uh, the corporate data we can always select the device and one device or any number of device we can lock the device that is lock the device from scale fusion unlock the device from scale fusion lock the device screen reboot shut down or delete the devices individually if we go on the view details we of course get the location location can be seen at all times we can also uh, send a one way message we can get the full device information we can shut on few samsung and lenovo device we can shut down the device we can factory reset the device we can reset a passcode policy that has been applied onto the device so in this way we can ensure if the device is lost or stolen we can factory reset the device to ensure uh, there is no device misuse alongside we also have few other capabilities wherein uh, we can also uh, we can go to the android utilities we can set frp factory reset protection which is an uh, emm feature is relevant to android devices to ensure that uh, that the device is not misused let's just say if there has been a unauthorized factory reset moving on we have various reports and workflow as well reports uh, can be used to generate uh, uh, to generate any kind of, like for example if you want to generate a data usage report location history report for each and every device it can be done uh, various reports are available uh, i would request you to sign up for a trial for scale, of scale fusion to know more about this and there are various workflows as well it automation tool for example uh, we can we can uh, set an alert or we can make sure we can set a battery compliance or data usage compliance to ensure an alert is sent to the mdm admin as well as a message is sent to the device user in case the battery is low or in case the data is, is being used a lot so various compliances are available for android ios windows and uh, uh, and mac os devices we also have an application management section wherein we can restrict the usage or restrict the tablets or restrict the endpoints with certain apps only which are there in google play store which are there on apple app store or windows business store if any of the apps are not hosted in any of this platform we can also upload the apk file or the epkg file or any other msi file for windows and all those files can uh, all those uh, app files can be uh, uploaded over here and we can make sure silent installation can happen over the air on these devices alongside we have a load website we can allow few web by default all the websites are uh, uh, blacklisted or not allowed on the scale fusion or, or not allowed on scale fusion we can allow the we can allow certain websites only and these will open up on the scale fusion browser alongside uh, this is for android devices or we can also make sure google chrome the same settings can be applied on google chrome wherein this particular website which i have whitelisted is on, can open up on google chrome and no other website opens up through google chrome we can also blacklist certain website and give any kind of uh, access to the other website so blacklisting can and whitelisting can be managed accordingly this is with reference to android devices with reference to ios devices we have a prosurf browser which is an in house browser developed by skill fusion and the same things can be applied onto the safari browser as well next is a team communication suite we have a team communication suite uh, which is inbuilt over here uh, i will not go too much into that i will request you to sign up for a trial of scale fusion to uh, ensure you you make use of the team communication suite which is a replacement for whatsapp viber or slack or skype kind of a, a platform it, the team communication suite can also be used for uh, uh it can also be used for uh, a calling care, call management contact management and for ptt or uh, or uh, a walkie talkie kind of a feature as well few other features that i wanted to showcase is the branding we have a branding section over here we can customize the branding on the devices as well uh be it android ios or windows we can set the wallpaper we can set the brand logo and we can set the screen logo uh there are various restrictions as well restrictions uh, which can be done through device profiles device profile is nothing but the backbone of the security policy on the devices we can restrict the volume setting wifi setting display setting and a few other settings like phone calls sms bluetooth and uh, also we can restrict factory reset usb access uh, over here usb access powering off of the device 
the hardware keys that is the back key home key app switch key volume key and volume down key and the major feature which is a differentiator in scale fusion is the access condition speed based access so if you want to restrict the access to the apps on the devices let's just say i'll choose kilometers per hour and mention it as 60 we can ensure we can block the access to all the apps or block the apps uh, access to the selected apps let's just say i have access, i have selected 21 apps over here if i want to uh, access uh, block the access to certain apps only i can do that and i can also display a message onto the devices so speed based access is a very important feature or a differentiator that is used by various uh, customers from the logistics and the transportation the fleet management industry so these are a few of the salient or these are a few main features that are used uh, by in the logistics and the transport in, transportation industry uh, customers uh, using scale fusion i'll quickly stop sharing my screen and i'll come back to my presentation so this was a live demonstration of scale fusion in action i would request you uh, you all uh, the webinar attendees to get in touch with sindes to sign up for to to sign up for a trial to know more and they'll be able to help you out in navigating through, through these features and various other features available on the scale fusion dashboard now that these uh, i have finished the presentation and the uh, a live demonstration i i would just wanted to get a poll uh, second on the last poll would you like to explore scale fusion as an option in your device management infrastructure let us know if it's a yes no or a, a yes uh, or no or a maybe uh, we have 30 seconds left for this particular poll uh, i'm getting quite a few yes majority of the responses that i am getting is a yes so that's great to know we have 15 seconds left we are getting good number of responses like i mentioned you can always sign up uh, uh, through our partner to know more about scale fusion we have five seconds left five four three two and one the poll is complete uh, we have received the responses majority of them have mentioned a yes if not i can mention that all of them are mentioned as yes so like i mentioned you can explore upscale fusion through our partner through our mobility partner sindes to know more i would request you to reach out to uh, sindes to sign up for a trial they'll be able to help you out and please do hold on we have few exciting uh, uh, announcement at the end uh, at the end uh, uh, of this webinar and right now we'll go towards the q and a uh, let us i have received quite a few responses so i'll uh, pass it on to uh, honey from the sindes team to to shoot out the questions and i'll be able to answer them right now over to you honey all right, thank you, Mr. Sharaz. It was very, very great and thoughtful sharing for us. I can see that uh, some of them has uh, pointing out few questions to be uh, answered from you, but you guys have to stay tuned because these questions will be uh, pointed to our guest speaker in the Q&A sessions afterwards. All right, so now we are going to move on with the Q&A session with the guest speakers. But before that, again, if you have any questions on MDM or what Mr. Sharaz has been presenting to us just now, you may drop your questions in the chat session below and we will gather all the questions for the next Q&A sessions afterwards, all right? And please, please do stay until the end of this webinar. If you want to have an exclusive program that I'll be talking about since the beginning of the session just now, okay? We'll be revealing more about that at the end of this session soon. So yeah, Mr. Charas, I'll be pointing out some of the questions to you. I hope that you are ready. Yes, I'm ready. Okay, here is my first question. So, how does scale fusion MDM for logistics support future requirements? I mean, uh, the key features that scale fusion MDM provides to the sector that can support their future requirements itself. That's a very good question, honey. So, uh, scale fusion, one of the major uh, USPs or unique things about scale fusion is we 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 support customization on demand. The technology is evolving and post pandemic, there are a lot of changes that keep happening or the requirement of customers changes and the same holds true for logistics and the transportation industry. So one of the main features that we worked on is a speed based access. So this was on demand requested by our customer, which we have recently developed. Let's just say if there are any other few any other features that our customers require in the future, we are open to customization looking at the feasibility. And just to give an example, we have recently uh, we have recently finished a, a, a deployment with, with our partner Sindes in uh, in uh, Malaysia. It's a major uh, logistics company. To be very honest, 
and they required quite a few customization, which we did not, which we Scale Fusion did not have. We worked on this customization. We ensured it was delivered in the right amount of time to ensure that the customer, overall the customer is satisfied, either at the start of deployment or incrementally over the deployment time, we will be delivering it to the customer. So let's just say if any kind of customization is required, Scale Fusion is open to it. There are a few other customizations we are currently working on. To know more about that, you can always get in touch with our partners in this and uh, we will be able to assist you accordingly. All right, that's right. That's pretty great, actually. So uh, for the next questions, I'm also wondering, is it difficult to implement MDM in the logistics and transportation sector? Not at all, not at all. It is not difficult at all. Like I mentioned in the demo and in the presentation, Scale Fusion supports various types of deployment method or basically various types of method in which a device can be enrolled with Scale Fusion. Uh, Samsung KME for Samsung devices, uh, other Android devices, uh, it is uh, a zero touch enrollment and various other OS platforms, uh, streamlined uh, enrollment or easy deployment is possible. Uh, this and at the time of enrollment, our partner centers will always be there. This is to ensure for the logistics and the transportation customer, either the MDM admin enrolls the device with scale fusion or it can be done by the end user as well. So to in a nutshell, it is very easy to streamline uh, the MDM management or MDM enrollment uh, in the logistic and transportation industry through scale fusion. All right, that's great, that's great. So as for the next questions here, is the MDM, SkillFusion MDM solution scalable? What I mean is, um, you know, many customers are usually concerned whether their mobile inventory management software can adapt to the demands of their spending business. Yes, that's a very good question that we keep on uh, hearing from various customers from this industry. Yes, mm -hmm. SkillFusion supports in whenever, uh, the, uh, whenever customers are scaling up. Like I mentioned, uh, we are in the, we are not just, uh, we are device agnostic. That is any kind of devices can be used to scale. So if the customer is using a device A right at the moment, but they want to use device B, device, B, device C over the next one or two years time, they can easily enroll and provision these devices with scale fusion with the necessary kind of restrictions. Alongside one of the major differentiators of scale fusion is we provide license flexibility or license reusability. Let's just say in a year's time, two years time, or three years time, the hardware tends to depreciate and the hardware or the devices are needed to be changed. Scale Fusion provides a feature of license reusability. That is we can delete the old devices and we can apply the same license to the new devices without spending any extra cost. Alongside a hardware can always go faulty. At any point of time, if the hardware goes faulty, we can simply replace that uh, or delete the device and, uh, and uh, uh, ensure that the license for that device is provided or is assigned to the new device. To, to answer, to answer, let it be one device, 100,000 or 100,000 of devices. Let there be a replacement of devices, different OS, whatever it is. It is very easy for logistics and transportation in, uh, industry customers or uh, companies to easily scale through Scale Fusion. All right. <laughs> so yeah, this is going to be my last questions for me. Um, does your scale solution and VM offer any standard new functionalities and features? Yes, we do. I okay. also wanted to add one more point for the third question. Yeah. As you can see, scale fusion, the fusion of endpoints at scale. Scalability <laughs> is our USP. So scale fusion, the name suggests you can always scale. So you can always uh, uh, bank on scale fusion for your, uh, for your mobile device management needs for the years to come. Coming back to the fourth question, honey. Uh, there are various other fe customization features that will come up. To know more about that, please get in touch with our partner Sindes and sign up for a trial of Scale Fusion. We will be able to assist you. We'll be able to walk you through the things. We will make sure that your mobility uh, needs are taken care of in active collaboration with Sindes. Yeah, that's right. So, all right. Thank you, Mr. Charas. That was a very in-depth and knowledgeable answer for us all. So that's all for the Q&A sessions with our webinar guests speaker for today. Now we are opening the Q&A sessions with our audience. So again, if you guys have questions, more questions regarding the, uh, the MDM or what Mr. Sharas has been presenting to us just now, feel free to drop your questions in the chat session below. 
because I believe that Mr. Charles is pleased to answer all of the questions later, right? So yeah, let's see what is the first questions that we have here in the chat sessions. From Henry Fu, he asked, uh, window below 10 cannot install. I mean, this. Uh, I think this means by the NVM itself whether it, it can install or not in the below in the window below 10. Can you answer that, Mr. Shara? Sure, sure, honey. So answering your question, Henry, uh, the Windows 10 and below devices, basically Windows 7, Windows 8, 8.1, and all these devices are not supported through Scale Fusion. Uh, many of the MDM players in the market do not support. There is a valid reason. Windows has ensured that the EMM or MDM or Unified Endpoint Management is streamlined from Windows 10 onwards only. So many of these, uh, many of the enterprises, many of the companies, many of the uh, 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 companies across the globe have made sure that the device inventory is changed from Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8, 8.1 to Windows uh, to Windows uh, 10 and above. So to answer your question, Scale Fusion supports Windows 10 and 11 devices, and we support uh, all all the versions, be it uh, all the versions except one, that is, be it Pro, Business, Enterprise. Home version, which is used for personal purposes, is not uh, supported through Scale Fusion nor any other MDM out there in the market. All right, that's a uh, pretty good answer. So I I hope that Henry Fu uh, are clear is clear with uh, what Mr. Charas has been answered to you just now to your questions. So moving on with the next questions here, we have from Lim and K. He asks, MDM is a software or an app? Is it free to use? Uh, Lim, that's a very good question. <laughs> M MDM mobile device ma management is a software and it is achieved on the devices through an app. How exactly? Let me explain you that. So mm -hmm. basically to enroll a device, there is a enrollment configuration that is there. Mm -hmm. uh, through this enrollment configuration, uh, uh, the app is installed right at the time of unboxing the device onto the devices. Through this app, this, uh, through this app, there is a communication between the uh, Scale Fusion uh, dashboard, and that is where the communication happens. So MDM is a software, and on the devices, it is controlled through an app. And it, of course, it is free to use for 14 days only. So Scale Fusion <laughs> provides a 14 days uh, free trial. So you can use it then and there. And depending upon your requirement, let's just say if you have a requirement on 200 devices, we will provide your pricing for 200 devices and we'll assign a license. In that way, we can ensure that the number of devices that are there for, for, for your remote management, those number of devices are seamlessly enrolled and you can use it accordingly. Yeah, correct. Um, the next questions that we have here on the chat sessions here is from Jenny Stun. She asked, the features look great. Any chance for us to explore that? I think this one um, is pointed out when you presented uh, to us your Scale Fusions dashboard just now. So um, I think Jenny Stein, uh, if you want to explore more on that, you can uh, try out our Scale Fusions free MDM trial that we'll be revealing at the end of the session later. So I hope that you will stay tuned to try it out. Uh, Mr. Charles, do you have any uh, thought on these questions from Jenny Stan no, here? <laughs> you answered it quite well, honey. Yeah, That's yeah. Well. <laughs> All right, we, we move on with the next question here. From Henry Fu again, can you help with warehouse? How will it work? Yes, that's a good question, Henry. Yes, in a warehouse as well, Scale Fusion can be used. Uh, in warehouse, various type of MPOS devices are also used and tablets uh, and rugged devices are also used within a warehouse. So provisioning these devices or enrolling these devices with Scale Fusion is very easy. And these, these devices are tagged with an asset ID. So we can create wildcards, we can create asset IDs uh, through these wildcards to ensure the device can be tracked. Alongside, alongside one of the major features that is seen in warehouse is geofencing. That is, the device should not move out of a particular boundary in case if it moves out of the office premises or the boundary or the warehouse, an immediate alert needs to go to the MDM admin and a message needs to be displayed on the device. And certain actions can also be taken on the device to ensure that the data or the security of the devices can also be mitigated. So geofence compliance and geofence based switch profile and many other features are available to know more uh, on the warehouse, warehouse side of the things as well. 
please uh, sign up for a trial and you can test out these things actively through your scale fusion trial. All right, we also have the questions from our broadcast site because we broadcast uh, this live uh, webinar to our Facebook and also YouTube channel as well. So this question is from uh, either, the, either YouTube or Facebook. So this question is, uh, can you further clarify the speed access? Do you mean if the app data usage exceeds the limit, then the app cannot be used? Uh, so. Not exactly. That's a good question, though. Not exactly. In terms of app data, right, we have a report through which we can check the app data that is being used by each and individual devices. What app is using, how much data, is it Wi-Fi? Uh, and we can also segregate how much Wi-Fi data is being used, how much uh, SIM data is being used, all of that is possible. With reference to the speed access, what exactly this means is, most of the times the devices or the endpoints that are used by the uh, users is always there in, in, in a vehicle or mounted onto a vehicle or mounted onto a truck or mounted onto any two wheel or any kind of a two wheeler vehicle as well. So to ensure that, the, that there is no distraction or to ensure that uh, the, the, the user while commuting from a point A to point B, they are not distracted uh, by the mobile device that is there in front of them, we can enforce something called as a speed access. What exactly it is? Uh, let's just say if you, if if we feel if the user is going above 30 kilometers per hour speed and he will not be able to multitask, we can ensure that up beyond 30 kilometers per hour, the device cannot be used at all. That is, we can block access to the apps, all yeah. apps or certain business apps and display a message saying, okay, you have exceeded a speed limit of 30 kilometers per hour. Please come back to below 30 kilometers per hour to start using the device and the apps properly. This is to ensure that while the user or while the device user is commuting or is in the vehicle and the vehicle is moving, he uses the device only when he only when the speed is low or only when it is safe to be used. This is to ensure that we can mitigate accidents, mitigate any other kind of hazards while the user is using the device. So this as a feature, as a health hazard is being used by various customers uh, various logistics and fleet management and transportation customers. So I hope I was able to answer this question. All right, guys, we still have four minutes uh, for this session. So if you guys do have more questions on MVM, feel free to drop your questions in the chat sessions below. Okay, so we move on with the next questions from Jenny Stein again. So the data and info of the phones are real-time synced to the system. Will it be affected by any factor? So Mr. Sharif? Yes, that's a good question, Janice. So yes, the data and info are real-time sync uh, with the system. The only factors that affect is as long as, it, as long as there's a connection between the scale fusion dashboard and the device. That's the only factor. And how exactly is this connection possible? It is possible through internet. So the, the only way we can have a connect is through the internet. Let's just say if the device is not connected to the internet, we, or we can get an immediate alert. We can set an inactivity compliance saying that, okay, the device is not connected or switched off for the past 30 minutes, one hour, two hours, six hours, whatever it is. So the only factor that it depends upon is the an active internet connection, be it a SIM data or Wi-Fi, or, or if it's connected to Wi-Fi. So that is the only thing. In terms of real-time tracking, real-time information, we can force GPS always on. We can force, uh, we can force uh, uh, location always on. And this is applicable to Android devices. Uh, with reference to with reference to Windows and Mac devices, they do not have a GPS chipset. So IP-based location tracking is only uh, achievable. And this is a limitation because the Windows and Mac devices do not have a GPS, uh, GPS chipset. So to answer, yes, all the, to conclude, all the data and info of the phones are real-time synced and it can be retrieved at any point of time. Uh, through the scale fusion dashboard all right so there are two more questions here in the chat sessions before we end our sessions now so from lim nk what is the minimum purchase to use mdm if my company isn't that large scale but still interested with this scale fusion that's the beauty of scale fusion we do not have a limited uh, uh, minimum purchase uh, threshold or anything as such if you want to manage one ten hundred five hundred thousand or hundreds of thousands of devices, you can sign up now. 
there are many customers from this industry who started off with just 10 devices and they've scaled up to uh, 10,000 plus devices. The classic example is uh, the customer story uh, that I just provided, Delivery Hero. Uh, rightly so mentioned, they have Food Panda, which is there in the Southeast Asia region. It is under them. So even there is no minimum usage. The main motive is for us to make sure that all your mobility needs are taken care of through scale fusion, regardless of the uh, number of device you want to manage. Adding to this, of course, if, the, if, if there is a large purchase or if you have a, a higher uh, device uh, usage or higher number of devices to be used, we can ensure that a special kind of uh, discount or special kind of price can be provided to you. But to, add, to conclude, there is no minimum purchase to use Scale Fusion MDM. All right, that's great. So this is going to be last questions for our session now. This question is from uh, the broadcast side. Location tracking means tracked by GPS. Can the staff turn it off by themselves? So Mr. Charles, <laughs> can you help please uh, to answer this question? Definitely, that's a good <laughs> question. So the location tracking, yes, it is possible through track by GPS. And can the stern staff turn it off by themselves? I'll answer it in a two ways. First of all, we can force GPS always on. And if the device is locked in kiosk mode, they will not have an access to the GPS, uh, to GPS at all. That is one thing. Let's just say if they are being given an access to GPS as well, we can disable uh, or we can actually disable the GPS option on the tab on the device. What exactly this means is when the user clicks on the GPS from the notification bar or from the notification center, they will get an error saying this feature has been disabled by the administrator. The second part is on few of the devices, uh, the GPS, we will not be able to completely uh, block it. But if the user switches off the GPS, they will get a dialog box on the device uh, within 10 to 15 seconds that you need to switch on the GPS to continue using the, uh, to continue using the device. Let's just say if the device user uh, ignores it, they will get these pop up all the times, which renders them to use the device, which makes sure that the device usage uh, is, they will not be able to use the device. It is rendered useless unless and until they click on OK or they click on the, uh, the button to grant GPS, the user will not be able to use the device. So to answer, the, st the staff, first of all, will not be able to turn off the GPS in case if they are turning off, a prompt will always be there. And without granting that prompt, the user will not be able to use the device whatsoever. Yet. All right, that's good. So I think it's about time for the Q&A sessions for now. Thanks for all the questions that you have given to us in the chat session just now. I hope that you guys are clear uh, with the answers given by our speaker. Okay, that's all for our second episode in this today's uh, webinar series, but our sessions hasn't ended yet. Remember what I have been mentioning about at the beginning of the webinar just now? You must be curious and eager to know what is the exclusive program that I'll be talking about, right? So here it is. The, the exclusive program I mentioned about is the free skills vision MVM trial that is mainly to those who join in our webinar sessions for today. So if you are keen to know how MDM works for your business, you may sign up for Scalefusion MDM trial for free now. If you are in this room, in this Zoom meeting, you can, you can check the registration link inside the chat box. Our admin will put the link there. I, I, I can see that our admin has put the link there so you can sign up from that link now. Meanwhile, for those who watch our session live from Facebook and YouTube, you guys can scan the QR code on the screen here to register for a free skill solution and the end trial for your business. And there is also an additional info that I would like to add here. All right. The next webinar will be held on March 10th. And in that episode itself, we'll be talking about mobile device management again, but more deeply in the governance subject. So if you work in this industry, and uh, you probably have uh, connections in, this, in that sector, you are welcome also to invite them to join our next sessions, all right? But before we leave, I would appreciate, I would appreciate it if you could fill in the survey for today's webinar. Those who have completed the survey will be entered to win Sindes merchandise. Of course, the lucky winner will receive them. For those in this room, the survey link will appear automatically after our session ends later. So for those who are watching us live on Facebook and YouTube, please complete the survey via the link provided in the comment sections. Okay, our admin will provide 
the survey in the comment section. And also, you can uh, see from the screen there, uh, we have a barcode for Q, uh, for survey. Sorry, my mistake. We, we only have the link inside the chat sessions, uh, in the comment section only, all right? Okay, guys, <laughs> you got, uh, if you complete the survey and you'll be eligible to win a lucky draw from us, the survey you guys completed may help us to improve even more in the upcoming days and your feedback is extremely uh, valuable for us, okay? I believe this is where we will end our webinar for today. I would like to thank everyone deeply for joining this webinar and staying with us till the end. We're going to share with you guys more on the upcoming days for sure. And I hope that you guys are able to push your company forward in achieving a better productivity level and to increase your workforce capacity with mobile device measurements. If you have any question or inquiries regarding Scalefusion MVM again, or would like to deploy it in your company, feel free to contact us. I will be forwarding it to our mobility specialists to assist you further through our email, hello at senior.biz. So yeah, I think that's all for today. Until we meet again, bye. On the current industry landscape. That is where mobile device management solution comes into play. That is where mobile device management solution comes into play.